WTC Weather Lab. Here's Eric's forecast. Hopefully you were lucky enough to have the day off. We're able to just stay inside. Maybe you take a nice nap as that rain began the to come in around the afternoon and tomorrow's going to be another day where you're going to want to stay inside as we're looking at a good chance for some strong and severe storms moving through the area during the late morning and into the afternoon. You can already see that system getting its act together, producing some nasty weather back over Texas and up into Oklahoma and Kansas this evening. And eventually all this storm system will be making its way down towards Acadiana. But out ahead of that, we had some warm air lift off the Gulf, producing some of those scattered showers that we have ongoing right now and throughout much of our Wednesday. You can see those showers began to move onshore around 10, 11 o'clock this morning and have been with us throughout much of the afternoon. But you can see we're beginning to get some breaks in across portions of Acadiana as much of Vermilion Parish, Lafayette, Acadia getting a little bit, but still got some heavy showers on going down towards Iberia and into St. Mary Parish. So we'll take a close look at that. You can see most of those were dealing with the moderate, the heavy showers, but now starting to get a little bit of break. So Delcom up the new Iberia, finally starting to see the rains come to an end within the last five. 10 minutes down towards Jenner Red. Still seeing some of that rain in Morgan City up to Stevensville, but I do expect within the next hour, maybe even you can get a little bit of a break in the rain and things can begin to dry out and drain down a little bit in some of those areas as we get ready for tomorrow's big rain event. Right now, much of Lafayette Parish is clear up into St. Landry Parish, just a few light showers. We also got some activity back towards Allen Parish, working up into Rapides and over towards Lake Charles, and that's how it's going to be through the rest of this evening. Just some on again, off again, light activity, nothing of anything of consequence, but I do think we start to see a little bit more breaks as you can see the model kind of clears us out, but still could have a few light showers with us through eight o'clock and even towards 11 o'clock might get a few more of the fire up, but you do see a good bit of us will begin to get a little bit of a break from the rain through the overnight and into tomorrow morning. So it does look like the morning commute around seven o'clock should be dry for most of Acadiana. So that is the good news, but you can see as things get going right around seven o'clock over towards Lake Charles, beginning to see that nasty line of storms make its way into Acadiana, then slowly marching from west to east across. So by about 10 o'clock, beginning to knock on the door of Lafayette and you see those dark shades. So some very strong to severe storms will be associated with this system as it moves through. So a little bit of a break tonight. Winds already starting to pick up out of the south, anywhere from 15 gusting to 25 miles per hour, really starting to move some of those low level clouds around. But it does look like we should be dry tomorrow morning, but around seven o'clock, there's that line right on our door doorstep will be moving through the area during the late morning out across the western portions, getting closer to Lafayette around lunchtime. And there you go, the dark shade. So some very strong, heavy thunderstorms associated with that. And that's why we have that potential for some severe weather out ahead of it. That's where we're looking at the tornado threat. But with this initial line, that's where we're going to have those very gusty winds up to 50, 60 miles per hour. That then moves through. I think the severe threat begins to die down around the evening, but then on the back side as that front kind of waffles across the area. Heavy showers will continue on again and off again through much of the evening into the overnight hours before we finally start to clear out by about Friday morning. It does look like most of the rain finally beginning to push down towards New Orleans and will clear out into the Gulf by Friday afternoon, allowing for a northerly flow to finally clear us out and maybe give us some sunshine later in the day to help dry things out after all the heavy rain that we could get tomorrow. So slight risk for all of Acadiana for gusty winds as that system moves through along with an isolated chance for one or two tornadoes cannot be ruled out. So make sure you have a way to get those warnings as that system moves through. Here's a look at your rainfall totals. A good soaking for just about everyone. One to three inches, what you do see some of those higher amounts as some showers could linger across the eastern portions before that front really clears out into Friday. So you do see those totals anywhere from three to five inches. That's where we're really looking at the flooding concerns. So basically Lafayette on down towards Morgan City. That's where we'll have to watch for some flash flooding ongoing. I think west of Lafayette, you shouldn't be too bad. Just a good soaking one to two inches of rain. So on again, off again, light rain through the rest of this evening. 64 winds beginning to pick up and that is going to be a big story through the overnight and into tomorrow tomorrow morning. You can see sustained winds 15 to 20 miles per hour gust up the 30 and that's going to help to get the dynamics going to maybe get some storms to rotate tomorrow. So make sure you're tying down those loose articles outside or maybe getting some of those Christmas decorations inside so they don't get blown around with all those winds tomorrow. Then the strong, the severe storms will arrive late morning into the afternoon to the four plus inches of rain with temperatures getting into the low 70s with those winds staying up out of the south 10 to 20 gusting the 30. A little bit of a break Friday, but you do see another round of showers Saturday in the Sunday with a stationary front 
Good news is that will be more or less just light activity, so not expecting another real flooding threat with that. Another system moves through on New Year's Eve, but it should clear out in time if you're going out late Monday night to ring in 2019. And then you do see maybe a little bit cooler temperatures into the new year with highs in the 50s. All right, stay weather aware. Thanks, Eric.